two completely different cars we're going to be comparing in this video. And to my left, I have the 2024 Chevrolet Equinox in the LT trim. And we're gonna be comparing it and showing it over to the 2024 Chevrolet Trailblazer also in the LT trim. And we're gonna be comparing specs, exteriors, and interiors and showing you guys the overall differences in designs. Here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandy, we ask that you tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you got something for us to film, here's our email. Email us and we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Roseville Chevrolet here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us these beautiful cars for this review. Keep watching and stay tuned because we're also going to be talking about price tags and dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get a better idea of what comes on this car and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Chevrolet Equinox and Trailblazer. So let's dive in and talk about specs between both cars. Now on the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer, you have two options. You have the 1.2 liter option or the 1.3 liter option. And if you get the front wheel drive or the all wheel drive, that ranges between CVT transmission and the um, nine speed traditional automatic transmission. This exact one in this car comes with the 1.3 liter three cylinder turbocharged engine paired together with a CVT transmission because of the front wheel drive. If it's the all-wheel drive, it goes nine-speed automatic transmission. Just wanted to mention that to you guys as well. Giving you 155 horsepower with 174 pounds-feet of torque, electric power steering, a little bit about the MPG for the people who would like to know. It's going to be 29 city, 33 highway at the 31 combined, 13.2 gallon gas tank size, 174 inches in length, 71 inches in width, and 66 inches in height with 104 inch wheelbase, wheelbase and eight inch ground clearance. Now let's shoot over to the Chevy Equinox and comes in at 175 horsepower with 203 pounds feet of torque. Standard engine on this is a 1.5 liter dual overhead cam Ecotec four cylinder engine, which yes, it is turbocharged as well. Paired together with my, uh, liking a six-speed automatic traditional transmission okay now that is pretty standard on this equinox you don't get any other powertrains now let's go ahead and shut these hoods and give you guys sorry the mpg on the equinox will be 26 city 31 highway and a 28 combined with a 15.6 gallon gas tank size dimensions is 183 inches in length 73 inches in width and 65 inches in height with a 107 inch wheelbase which is three inches more than the trailblazer eight inch eight inch ground clearance with it which is the same exact ground clearance as the trailblazer okay guys sorry for that little mistake but yes there is a lot of information to go out on these cars now both cars do come in the summit white exterior paint colors we just happened to get our hands on both of these so yes we're trying to bring whatever we could get our hands on the front look on the trailblazer if you ask me if you're not a very big car enthusiast or a car whiz you might not even tell the difference between the trailblazer and the equinox if you're on the road literally the lights kind of look the same you're just adding one extra light here over or sorry under that chrome trim piece that comes all the way over to the side of the car headlight in the led drl light daytime running light in the led you don't get a signal light here because your signal light is the daytime running light to where here you have a halogen signal light and the hazard okay matte black plastic trim going all across the front end with a little bit of black gloss now because this has the uh, infotainment package safety infotainment package you get a 360 hd surround view with the bumper sensors going across that front end finishing off that lower front end with the chrome trim piece now coming over to the trailblazer you don't have that signal light you don't have the bumper sensors and you don't have that 360 hd camera system okay dropping down finishing that lower front end with the matte black plastic now coming over to the side now they both have an eight inch ground clearance but if we talk about the rims and tires they are going to be completely different these are running on the Trailblazers Continental Pro Contacts. And what size, you might ask, is a 225, 60, 17 inch with a front McPherson strut suspension. Over here on the 
Equinox, you're getting a better tire in the Michelin Primacy All Season Tire. And the size on this is a 225, 65, 17 inch. But one is a hyper silver color and the other is machine surface silver with a gloss black. This is also a standard suspension on the Equinox as well. Moving forward, because of the safety infotainment package, you're getting the 360 camera under that side mirror. You also get a blind spot assist that comes standard with the tech on this car. But if we shoot over to the Trailblazer, this actually comes with a driver confidence package, which adds the lane departure and blind spot assist along with the rear traffic alert and the rear uh, parking bumper sensors. Well, now just so much information. Sorry if I'm making the mistake, guys. But again, you get the two colors, the matte black plastic and the summit white right on top. Up top, you got the roof rails coming in on the Trailblazer, no roof rails on the Equinox. Black going around these windows, chrome just on the bottom of these windows, right? Keyless fob entry on both. Keyless fob entry on both. And the matte black plastic trim going down to that rocker panel over around the wheel wells. So the Trailblazers does have the matte black plastic trim around the wheel wells. No trim around the rear wells on the Equinox. Uh, I'm a fan of the no trim because it just gives it a cleaner look. This matte black plastic can fade over time for the people, just so you guys keep an uh, eye out for that. Rear end on the Trailblazer. Spoiler up top with the integrated brake light, wiper for that back glass. These do come halogen. They are not LEDs here in the back. Trailblazer LT trim on the right. Bumper sensors going across, finishing off with that kind of hyper silver trim look. And the exhausts are tucked right and left under the car, giving it a cleaner look. Tail lights on the Chevy Equinox are not LED as well. They are halogen bulbs. Up top, spoiler, integrated brake light, wiper on the windshield, and the camera system over that back um, license plate. They both do actually. I forgot to mention on the Trailblazer Equinox and the LT trim. Bumper sensors going across that matte black pla plastic and finishing off again in the rear diffuser area with matte black plastic with the exhaust tips tucked away. Now let's go ahead and open both. They both have the electric lift tailgates and because the because the convenience package on the Trailblazer, you're getting that electric tailgate lift button, okay? You will not be getting it if you don't have the convenience package. But let's go ahead and talk about the Trailblazer first. So my cargo space on the Trailblazer is going to be 25 feet with the seats up. 54 cubic feet of space with the seats down. And the way you would actually drop this is pop that 60% down and the 40 percenter on the driver down as well lift this rear mat for more space and your spare tire with little cubbies on the right and the left if we come over to the equinox cargo area on the equinox is 30 cubic feet of space for cargo with the seats up 64 cubic feet of space with the seats down and you can actually drop those seats by these two levers here on the right and on the left 60 percenter on the left and 40 percenter on the right which kind of makes it opposite from the Equinox to the Trailblazer because they swap the 60% are on the right and the 40% are on the left. Matt, you have a spare tire under this cover as well and some more space. Pretty much straight to the point with the 12 volt outlet, guys. Now let's go ahead and shut both these tailgates electrically. Now that we're pretty much done talking about the specs, exteriors and cargo designs, let's go ahead and talk interiors. Okay, so now sitting in the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer LT and just get a load of this newly uh, Trailblazer look with the infotainment screen, full digital driver cockpit cluster screen, just a phenomenal look. You do feel like you're getting the full tech in this Trailblazer. Now that's something that I'm gonna show, show you guys that's different from the 2024 Equinox is because it still has kind of that manual cluster look. And it is a little bit outdated because a lot of manufacturers are dropping full digital screens inside their dashboards, okay? But again, guys, let's go ahead and bring this interior to you guys real quick, starting with the door panel, unlock lock button, control units for your windows and your side mirrors. You have your little knob there to control the height of that rear tailgate, your little itty bitty tiny knob that you're gonna get in both cars for your lighting, and then a knob there for the dim, dim lighting on your dashboard. 
steering wheel wrapped in leather. It does come heated steering wheel because the colder, uh, cold weather package. So in this Trailblazer, because of cold weather package, you get the heated steering wheel, the dressed up shift knob, and the front heated seats. All right, that's three things that the cold weather package brings to you. Behind that uh, steering wheel is going to be your lever there for your windshield wipers and your signal lights. You can go through different gauge designs. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. All right, and just wanted to show you guys something like that. There you go. Moving forward to the infotainment screen, if I drop this car in reverse, this is what your back camera looks like. It does have the rear cross traffic alert, so you will get sensors beeping if someone is back there. Dropping down, single climate control, heated seats, USB. BC USB a plug-in 12 volt outlet in a wireless charging pad that is because the convenience package on this car little control unit there for snow mode sport mode traction control lane assist mode and also the engine on off button cup holders this is what your key fob looks like on the trailblazer cubby room and more cubby room with a removable tray in that center console okay the seats themselves, this seat does come 10-way power adjustable driver seat because of the convenience package. Passenger seat is a manual control, so no power on the passenger. Non-lockable glove compartment. Now we're pretty much done with the front. Let's go show you the second row seating inside the Trailblazer. Talk some money and then jump into the Equinox. All right, guys, Trailblazer second row seating. We left this seat down so you guys get an idea from the rear doors, what it looks like from the cabin over to the cargo. Let's pop this up. Because of the convenience package, you also get a rear armrest with the cup holder. Shout out to Chevy because they have nice big cup holders back here. Car seat compatibility in front of us. That center console is going to be different because the Equinox have the vents here with the USB plugins here and then an inverter all the way down here. But on the Trailblazer, the one we're in right now, no vents back here. You just have a USB-C, USB-A plug-in and an inverter. And this is also because of the convenience package. On the back of both front seats, you get pockets to where on the Equinox, you're only going to get one pocket here on the passenger seat, okay? Now, I'm about six feet, two inches, so you guys would kind of guess or kind of get an idea of what it is for the tall people here with regards to space. Head clearance there, leg clearance there. In both cars, you're actually not going to be fighting for space if you got four passengers. In the Trailblazer, you might be a little bit more squished on the back seat for that third passenger here in the middle. Now, this car is coming in at around 29K minus some change. This is the newer look, I will say, but Let's go ahead and show you guys what $3,000 extra brings over to you guys on the Chevrolet Equinox LT trim on side the interior, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about that. So now the Equinox in the LT trim, guys, and get a load. Let's go ahead and start the car and show you guys what this looks like. Now, you have the 8-inch infotainment screen. This is because of the uh, infotainment package. Continue. Get the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you go home touch sensitive 360 camera this is what it looks like and different angles you could check out the back the front bird's eye view check out your blind spots and so forth dropping down you get dual climate control instead of single climate control you still also get the heated seating let's turn off that music lower the only thing that you don't get is a wireless charging pad that the trailblazer does USB-A, USB-C, aux, and a 12 volt outlet with an SD card. Because of the infotainment safety package, you also get not just USB-C plug-in or A plug-in there, you get two plug-ins here, and also two more in the back. So you're loaded with uh, USB plug-ins, all right? But get a load of these cloth seats. The driver's seat is power adjustable also. Passenger seat is manual adjustable, just like the Trailblazer. In front of you, unlockable glove compartment, as well as the Trailblazer. And if we move over to the door panel, pretty much same idea with the unlock lock button, control units to your windows and your side mirrors, little knob there, just a different design, but pretty much the same idea in tech and interface, okay? Now, this is where you're gonna see a lot of difference. That driver cockpit cluster display screen is partial, I mean, majority of it is manual or old style look with that little infotainment screen that you can go through your info cards and things of that sort here in the front. 
all right? But again, yes, it's an older look, but for $3,000, you're getting a whole lot more room and a whole lot more comfort with a little bit more tech bell and whistle inside this car. All right, this is pretty much the front look of the Equinox. Let's go ahead and show you guys the second row seating and finish off with this video. Now look how much more room, if you guys kind of go back into the video and then come here, you just get so much more room with regards to the cabin over to the cargo, right? And then the armrest, cup holders, pretty much similar. But what I wanna show you guys is, look, you're gonna have a better feel on the, if you do three passengers, back here now of course there are not gonna be three big passengers but if you have you know regular size passengers you will fit pretty comfortable back here head clearance is there along with the leg clearance now you can angle these seats see how we left one up and then one kind of falls back let's go ahead and show you guys that as well so more convenience and comfort for a longer road trip in front of us as mentioned the center console has the air vents usba plugins and the inverter down here remember so you're getting a little bit more with the air vents so if you're cold or hot you're going to feel the ac and heater a bit better one pocket on the back of that passenger seat to where you don't have a pocket on the driver's seat as well up top the old snap handles which instead of your reading lights being here in the middle like the trailblazer you have your reading lights here in an led lighting true light lighting reading light okay but guys as promised, here's the MSRP sticker on the Trailblazer. So this is coming in, the Trailblazer's coming in at around 29,000 minus some change. And then here's the MSRP sticker coming in at around $32,090. What do you guys think is better money for your dollar? I, if you ask me, I know I'll get a lot of comments. Hey, what do you prefer? What do you like? I do like the six speed automatic transmission. I do like the 1.5 liter turbo better than the 1.3 Ecotec. And I am a fan of an extra $3,000. You're getting a slightly bigger SUV or slightly bigger uh, mid-size SUV. It's not a full size, but mid-size five seater, more cargo and all around. Thank you guys so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. Stay tuned, check out our other videos here at Vagabond Builds. Thank you and God bless you.